Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. Central. Kevin. Three, two, one. Oh, a swift move by Lefty, but Mr. Right manages to pull back just in the nick of time. Lefty comes back around and strikes again. Nope, Mr. Right is just too fast. It's like, it's like he knows exactly what Lefty is thinking. I've never seen anything like it, folks. These two opponents are so evenly matched, this could go on for hours. Or days. Or weeks. Or months. Lemony. Roar! It's the attack of a 40-foot chicken! Buck, buck, buck. The penguins must leap into action quickly, lest they suffer the pecking. Buck, buck. Come on, guys, help me out. There's got to be a planet in trouble somewhere. Just get me out of here. <sighs> Space camp. Blast off to an exciting summer. Great. Seeds. Did somebody say seeds? Now you've got the idea. Why don't you join Michelle and me out in the garden, Jason? It's a perfect day to plant pumpkin seeds. Granum says if we plant them now, we'll have great big pumpkins at the end of the summer. Your sister's quite right. And we'll have loads of pumpkins for all kinds of treats. Pumpkin kraut, pumpkin slaw, pumpkin pudding, pickled pumpkin poppers. And we'll pop the pumpkins later, right, Grandmom? That's right, Michelle. What's the matter, Jason? Are you bored? <sighs> Too bad the video game's busted, huh? As a matter of fact, it is too bad, because I'm bored out of my brain. There's absolutely nothing to do up here. Why can't I be having fun at space camp like Trevor, instead of eating weird grapes and thumb wrestling myself, because the only other possible thing to do is plant pumpkins or stare at the wall. Oh, that gives me an idea. I think I'll stare at the wall. Touchy. Heavens above. That's no way to look at things, is it? You do know what it says about complaining in the Bible, don't you? Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure. Children of God without fault in this crooked world in which you shine like stars in the universe. You know, Jason, if you can't control your complaining, it'll spread to everyone around you, and you'll be a seed of discontent. So which will it be? A grumpy seed? or a shining star. We will be outside if you change your mind. Come along, Michelle. <sighs> Why would anyone want grapes with seeds? T. Conrad, we need your help. Yes! Oh, wait. No, we don't. It appears they simply had the batteries in backwards. They're able to shave again. Mission cancelled. 
Imagine that. An alien race so fuzzy, if they don't shave the noses once a day, they risk suffocation. Yup. Hair today. Gone tomorrow. Ha! 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 Figures. Jason, what's wrong? I was hoping to get out of here. That's a very good idea. Turn the page, partner. It is? Splendid. It does seem we have the day off. Hey, hey! You know, it's, uh, carnival season. <gasps> yes! How about the stockpile races? Oh, why don't we all go to the zoo? We should visit the botanical garden. Gardens, great! Boy, I sure love carnivals. Well, there's the derby. Monster trucks, yeah. Thunderfoot, Arr. What's a derby? They've got that ride that goes, woo-hoo! And look, everybody, no hand. The symphony, Comic-Con. Madison Square Garden. Whoa, 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 whoa. The magic shop, the hardware store. Yeah! The, the carnival. carnival! Do I get a balloon, then? Mitchell, get Jason in here. Mitchell, get us out of here. Kevin! Turn the page. Forty foot chicken! Good afternoon, passengers. This is your pilot speaking. Welcome aboard Fun Flight 321. Where your leisure is our pleasure. Your flight attendant will be serving refreshments shortly, so sit back and enjoy today's onboard entertainment. The seats on the ship go round and round. Round and round, round and round. The seats on the ship go round and round, up off the ground. Everybody sing! The thrusters on the ship go vroom, 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 vroom. The thrusters on the ship go vroom, 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 up off the ground. Feel the beat, Kevin! The atmosphere cage goes up and down, up and down, up and down. The atmosphere cage goes up and down, up off the ground. Oh, I'm so enjoying myself. What do you say, Jason? Can I pick a day out or what? No complaints here, Mitchell. I finally get to have some real fun. Care for a spot of pumpkin pie and some tasty grapes? Uh, do they have seeds? Don't think so. Who wants grapes with seeds? Uh, this just keeps getting better. Excuse me, Kevin, when you get a chance. I love a fresca. Coming up on Planet R&R &R and the Carnival Moon. Well, Jason, I've been using my head, and I think I've finally got this whole landing gear thing worked out. We still need to buckle ourselves in, boys. Federation rules. Section P3. Let's go catch that shuttle. Oh, Uncle Bob's amazing carnival. What do you see now? If you'd like to play the carnival, I will show you how. Uncle Bob's amazing carnival. We want to have fun. But our time to play at the carnival hasn't yet begun. <laughs> Greetings, greetings.
Greetings, space travelers. To what do I owe this most pleasant surprise? Greetings, my good, uh, uh, sir. We've come for a day at the carnival. We've got a day off. Sensors indicate fun. Sensors indicate... <laughs> well, please be sure it would be my utmost pleasure, and I would receive with the highest degree of adulation the accompaniment of your fine bevy. So, you, uh, <clears throat> mind if we join you? Not at all. Not at all. Right this way. Confound it. Only two. My good penguins, you're most welcome at my traveling carnival, revelrous exposition that it is. Though the amusements in store for you today will certainly entertain even the most dispassionate among you, it is with great regret that I have but a duo of blob toppers currently at hand. I'm afraid that the majority of the, uh, Colette du joie currently adorn the heads of the children already present. Hiya, fellas! Please accept my apologies, but as you see, I am left with but a brace. Great, great. So, you got some for everybody? There's only two. I believe that is what he just said. Hey, that's pretty sharp, Mitchell. Beg pardon? That's a great souvenir! Uh, about a quarter after. Uncle Blob's amazing carnival, what do you see now? If you'd like to play at the carnival, I will show you how. Uncle Blob's amazing carnival, look, the Whirlatron! The first fun ride we'll take at the carnival, let's all go get on. Oh, by the way, I have to say, there's something you should know. It's old and cheap. It'll put you to sleep, so you might as well not go. Oh, rats. Ah, oh, gee. That's disappointing. Did you say something? Hey, guys, didn't you hear? It's a lousy ride. Uh, <laughs> Well, they're certainly not going to have any fun on a ride like that. Uncle Blob's amazing carnival, what do you see now? For wanting to complain at the carnival, I will show you how. Uncle Blob's amazing carnival, look, the bouncing spin! Hopefully this will be a great ride at the carnival. Let's all go climb in! It's not untrue, if I were you, I'd leave this ride alone. You're much too big, it's for little kids, and it's boring when you're grown. Boring. We're too big for this ride. Yeah, what's the story here, Uncle Blob? I thought we were going to have a swell time at this carnival. Complain away, you little drones. There's better rides in nursing homes. I've seen a one-legged Zincadian turtle crawling through a puddle of giant whistlebee honey move faster than that. You got that right, you little whiner. There's a better one near Ursa Minor. You call that a fun ride? If I want to get dizzy, all I have to do is a little long division while Mitchell is driving. Ooh, that last remark was most unkind, but just feel free to speak your mind. Woohoo! <laughs> Though all these rides are fun, you haven't ridden one. You'll find it's hard to have much fun here once complaining has begun. Boy, oh boy, I can't believe we came here. This place is full of hooey. And how? Let's go to the carnival, he says. That's about the worst idea you've had since landing here. I wonder what's going on. They're certainly not very happy. Most curious. How on earth could they not be having fun? Yeah, this place is great. This place stinks! I can't believe you dragged us to this boring carnival! Huh? What? You talking to me? 
Uncle Blob's Complaining Carnival, what do you see now? It's easy to complain at the carnival, I just showed you how. What's the deal, Uncle Blob? You said this was What's gonna the be deal, fun. Uncle Blob? When's the you fun said this was start? going to be fun. When's the fun gonna start? Now, do my ears deceive me, or do I have some dissatisfied customers on my hands? Not to worry, not to worry. I've saved the best for last. I'm sure you'll all find this final attraction quite amusing. Space is tight, so I'm afraid you'll have to go in one at a time. Who'll be first? This is weird. We should find out what's going on. Right. That's it, step right up, right this way. No way! Next. Very good, very good, right this way. Watch your step. Sure, Fidgel. Hold on. Hiya, kid. Did you have fun at the carnival today? No! For a big man, he's got a great vertical. All right, then, who's next? Here. Might you be looking for your associates? Midgel, Zidgel, stop complaining. You're in danger. Say nothing! Ha <laughs> ha! Yell all you want, fellas. Your meager attempts at rescue are futile. They can't hear you. But on the plus side, you're just in time for the big finale. Allow me to show you to your seats. Not now, Kevin. We're in peril. Don't be timid, gentlemen. You get the best seats in the house. Huh? Where did the boy go? Pity, he'll miss the show. I say, Uncle Blob, what is the meaning of this? What have you done with our friends? And the kids? I am a businessman. But you see, this carnival is only a small part of my enterprise. I make my fortune by depopulating planets. I get everyone to leave. In a short time, this planet, planet R&R, &R, will undergo a mass exodus. Why? I'm glad you asked. I turn carnival goers into seeds of discontent. All I need is a steady supply of willing participants. Hey, I'm 
you're going too fast. I can't see. I plant my little complaining seeds on a planet, and that discontent grows and spreads, and soon the native population is so miserably grapey that the planet becomes uninhabitable and must be evacuated. Oh dear. Only, of course, at the request of my clients, who pay me quite handsomely. It's the perfect scheme. Nobody wants to be around a complainer. After the planet is vacant, the seeds are simply disposed of, and a whole new world is available for redevelopment. Did you say disposed of? That's what I said. Oh. Oh! Observe, it's happening already. That's it. Keep griping, keep griping. Isn't it all just rotteny? Let's see. Who's next? Hiya, kids. Did you have fun in the carnival today? No, sir, I can't say that I have. In fact, I would have to say that my time here was fun fun. I came here to have fun, and I don't recall a fun feeling anywhere and Jason. all day. And frankly, I don't care who I may have been with my opinion at this point. Oh, there you are. I knew you wouldn't want to miss the fun. Oh, I wouldn't even bother if I were you. Those machines are much too strong. Oh, if only we had some device with which to rescue Jason. Yeah, like the Gleasel. This place is the... Ouch! Got it! overcome by the seeds of discontent. But perhaps if I was able to have a look inside those canisters to see what's causing No, it. no, Vigil, set me down. I think I know the answer. Vigil, Vigil, pumpkin-headed kids. This is Jason, listen. You have to stop complaining. You've turned into seeds of discontent that it's spreading to everyone around you. Start thinking about all the things you have to be thankful for. Then do everything without complaining or arguing and in this crooked world, it'll shine like stars in the universe. Jason, it's working. That's it, guys. Be thankful. Be thankful for everything. I do like the aroma of electrified helium neon gas. Well, I guess being a seed encased in a canister and suspended in space by laser beams isn't so bad. My golly, we had ourselves a fine day. Mm-mm. Not so fast, Uncle Blob. Mitchell, grab him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll come along peacefully. But first, if you would be so kind, might you allow me to avail myself of the, ahem, facilities? 
Oh, all right, but make it snappy. Gentlemen, it has been a distinct pleasure, but I gotta go. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Captain's log, start eight. Uh, Kevin? Tea time. Start eight, tea time. Thank you, Kevin. The seedified pumpkin headed children were soon returned to their original condition a little wiser and a lot shinier. And after waiting several hours, I finally determined Uncle Blob was not coming back from his potty break. I saw that. You know, that's what I like about you guys. Uh, what? Well, it's... Our dashing good looks? No, it's... Oh, our scathing rapier wit? Mm, no, it's... Our snappy sense of passion? No! Now, would you kindly let Jason finish? Well, you... You make a really good team. You're fun to do things with. I mean, maybe I don't get to go to space camp for now. But I've got to look on the bright side. I do get to hang out with you guys all summer. I don't think you needed to be quite so harsh with me, Mitchell. But the lad was talking. You weren't letting him finish. Mitchell's right. It's impolite to interrupt. Jason was merely trying to- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there. It wasn't interrupting. No, but that was. So was that. But we were, I, I mean, he, he- Careful. It's starting to sound like you're whining. But you guys were ganging up on me. Everyone stop complaining. We don't want to start that again. We're not complaining. We're bickering. Be that as it may, I think it's more like quarreling. Oh, interruption. Oops, sorry. That's all right, Kevin. Pumpkins, nighty night. Time to say your prayers. Dear God, thank you for the sunshine and Grandma's pretty garden. Please help my pumpkin seeds to grow real big. And thanks for all the fun I can have right here at the cottage. And for helping me learn not to be a seed of discontent. Please keep Mom and Dad safe on their trip. And maybe you could help Grandma forget about the pickled pumpkin poppers. I second that. Amen. I got it from a cat named Uncle Blob. How'd you figure out how to play that thing? You just twist a few knobs and swing. Well, you climb on into that circus tent. Before you know it, you're a seed of discontent. Can you tell me what went wrong? Move your feet and swing along. You're griping and whining about everything. And complaining hips are hard to swing. You get to jump, jive, and run. You should be having fun. Don't be a seed. If a seed is what you are, you've got to be a bright and shining star. You can't always get what you want. No, no. You can't always get what you want. Uh-uh. But if you gripe sometimes, you just might find you turn into seed. When you stop grabbing and whining about everything Your legs get loose and you start to swing You jump, jive and run Man, now you're having fun Can you tell me where that sad face went? Crack a smile, change your style, now you're content You're singing a new song Move your feet and swing along Don't be a seed If a seed is what you are 
You've got to be a bright and shining star. When they see you swing and smile a lot, they want a little bit of what you've got. Now look at who you are, a bright and shining star. Much happier by far. A bright and shining, no griping, no whining, a bright and shining star.